All right, hey everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to all of you just for coming to these events, learning and growing within the, you know, the meme coin space or the NFT space, the Web3 space, whatever it is that you're interested in. So without everybody that comes to these events, there are no projects, right? Um, you know, sorry, I'm a little bit sweaty. Yeah, my knees are weak, arms are heavy. I got some vomit on my blazer already. It's a little bit of Portuguese spaghetti. Uh, I'm just a little nervous. I know on the surface, sometimes I like calm and ready to drop uh, coins, but we just keep on forgetting, right? I have no idea what I wrote down, all that I opened my mouth, and just the word FOMO always comes out. So, uh, as you could see on the screen, my name is Mr. Dan, uh, Mr. Dude, or Dan Kent, whichever, it doesn't matter. I have no problem being fully doxxed in the meme coin industry, because what we are trying to do is change that. So I was born and raised in Canada. Uh, athletics helped me travel the world. I played hockey in different locations, Australia, Ireland. These really helped open my mind outside of the North American culture. I learned about so many amazing, you know, the Asian cultures, the German cultures, a lot of the European uh, cultures, and that really helped me in my crypto journey. So I've been able to engage with everyone. Uh, Web3 is the future, and I'm just so excited to grow with everybody in this uh, stage. So. Meme coins and the disruption of meme coins, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a little murky, right? Where market dynamics, they're fast, it's murky. At FOMO Bull Club, we want to stand as a pillar of innovation, you know, with decentralized community-driven um, launchpad. So specifically, it's designed for meme coins. The FOMO Bull Club's launch process is not only ensures a successful launch, but also long-term viability and trust. One of the, our biggest things is you know, we do KYC our teams, all of our projects, everybody that gets involved as well. And, and to hold our member NFTs, we also KYC them because our decentralized uh, community actually has to vote on which projects are next, right? Here's our cute little bull, gets himself into all sorts of trouble. So we have no gatekeepers, like I mentioned, fully decentralized, 100% community enabled, no rug pulls. Uh, our FOMO Bull Club, it's a member-only decentralized launchpad and a liquidity club. So what we like to do is we can take your idea. Now, if you can dream it, we can meme it. You take your idea, we can take it from there all the way to inception and to launch. We will help with the liquidity. We will help you with the marketing. We will help you with uh, everything that you need. We'll put you in touch with KOLs. We have them. We have our Steakhouse Lounge, very private group. Our KOLs can only put in anywhere from $500 to $2,000. So they can only ever get a small percentage of a token's um, allocation, which will prevent everybody from dumping on them. Everything's vested over six months as well, and that just protects everybody, right? So people that launch projects, the FOMO Bull Club, end up getting amazing women like the Metavixens, right? So um, Metavixens is uh, another project that I'm a community member in, and they're just amazing art, so I figured it's a great opportunity to show them off. Shout out to Anna here. They mint one of ones. Uh, three every week are dropped, and they do it auction style, right? So uh, congratulations, the 800 was their last one. Um, so investing in meme coins and having fun and building communities and networking is essentially how we can all grow the spaces together. So the first step, if you wanted to build your own meme coin, is you create a proposal. So the first step, any project of the FOMO Club, crafting a detailed proposal, this will include project details, obviously things like the token name, symbol, the icon, what chain you want to launch on. Currently, our FOMO token is on base, but we provide the framework to launch on any token. We have four projects that will be launching from mid-June to end of June, early July. Um, a couple of them are huge NFT projects that are launching their first, first tokens. I was hoping to have the everything signed to be able to tell you guys today, but we'll save that for some alpha for next week for you. So then you choose your blockchain, we get your documentation, we say comprehensive project description and a white paper, but we know a lot of projects are also moving away from white papers. Essentially, we want our community and your community that you want us to help you build just to know what you intend to do, how you intend to do it. So call it white paper, call it roadmap, call it whatever you really want. And then we'll actually help you with your web presence, right? Do you already have an X account? Do you already have Twitter, Discord, Telegram, all of that? We want to know what they are, where at stage you're at, whether it's a community takeover and we're helping you relaunch it, or whether you're launching your own brand new meme coin. So this will help set the foundational tone for the project, and it'll outline its vision and technical specifics to your community and ours. 
So what we do with our launch pool, it's our key for initial liquidity and crucial for the token's life post-launch. So funds are allocated to the launch pool in the form of our Maverick LP token. So that is 50% USDC, 50% of our FOMO tokens. So the soft cap on the smallest end is $100,000. Hard cap on our max raise is 250K, 500K, or $1 million, depending on your tokenomics. Now, we are fully customizable. So essentially, as long as your tokenomics add up to 100%, we, we can work with some of the projects we're doing right now to alter things in various ways to benefit whether it's a current community that needs larger airdrops or whether it's a, a brand new community, right? If you've never launched a meme coin or any coin in general or any project, it seems really easy from the outside, but what happens is you, you raise the liquidity, you pump in 10, 15, $20,000, everything's awesome, you launch your coin, you go, we're gonna go to it, we're gonna go to a DEX, we're gonna go to the sexes, we're gonna, we're gonna launch, everything's gonna be amazing. What do they do? They tell you it's gonna cost you $30,000 just to launch your coin. And now there goes all that liquidity that you had backed up, and now you're hoping price go up, right? And that's where projects tend to then unfortunately fail and then get considered a rug pull, which is not fair to the people who are trying to do this in a legit way and who are trying to build their project and their communities. So our first coin that we'll be launching is called Fuck USD. As you can tell, some of their background immediately, right? They were voted by our community. They will be launching right away in mid-June. Like I mentioned, then we have three or four other projects that we're working with. Some people we've had the pleasure of meeting today, and we'll be launching back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back projects just to also, um, you know, give a nice uh, proof of concept as well. So the Fuck USD team having everything audited actually today as we speak, so our launch pad will go live, and they will be live with us. So the, one of the biggest things is working together. Like, in my personal opinion, I believe in collaboration over competition. I know a lot of projects and a lot of chains, it's more like, I want to survive, you know, screw you. We want to really get away from that because a rising tide just lifts all ships, right? So if there's anything you can learn, it's like join the different communities, help out. If you see things that are terrible, tell people, right? That's how we grew in the space. Three years ago, I was just some, some dude, I wasn't even Mr. Dude, trying to learn about projects and what the hell crypto was. And through joining actually a meme coin community with the culture and the fun, it's allowed me to learn and grow. Three years later, I mean, I'm at MemeCon talking in Portugal, and I flew over here from Canada, and I work in Web3 full time. So honestly, um, I always tell people this, I consider myself average intelligence, which means 50% of the population is generally not as smart as I am, but 50% of the population is smarter than I am, right? So always find yourself not being the smartest person in the room. If you do, if you're in a room and you think, man, I'm really the smartest person in the room, you are probably in the wrong room. Keep pushing yourself, keep growing. If you really wanna get into Web3 full time, whether it's as an NFT or launching your own projects or as an artist, just keep going. The barrier to entry is tough only if you quit. With that, I'll leave you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we are here next two days. Come on over there, I got some hats. We're also helping uh, sponsor the kickoff party tonight. So we will see you all there. First 500 people that are registered are drinking for free all night long. So I'll see you there. Come find me, Mr. Dude, out. Thank you.